Good morning and welcome to the Morning Cup. I'm Jimmy Doolin with Clubhouse RE. Do you have a plan? I mean, we can look at that sign behind me. IDs, ideas are worth nothing. Of course, well really it should say ideas are worth everything with implementation. With no implementation, ideas are worth absolutely zero. So, <clears throat> do you have a plan for your business? Because 2025 is not expected to be any better than 2024. Did you know that in 2024, we'll sell somewhere between 3.9 and 4 million homes? And that in 2021, no, 2022, that number was 7 million? We're gonna be off 40%. So, again, let me start over. Do you have a plan? It's interesting because having been in the business now 35 years and trained and mentored some of uh, Indianapolis's most successful agents, I have had the distinct opportunity and, and, and privilege to now train a rookie in Jacksonville, Florida. And that rookie is my kid. And um, so it's, it's, it's caused me to go back to the drawing board, go back to the basics, go back to the beginning and convey that in a way that helps him. Um, so that's the plan I'm going to talk about because my son and I have been discussing the plans for growth and, and here's how it works. You, you need a short term. In other words, something that has the potential to provide you opportunities sooner rather than later. You need a midterm, something that you're building on that will produce opportunities over the course of time, but less likely to do it right now, but shouldn't take extended periods of time. And then a long-term strategy, a long-term plan. Something that gets you off the quote-unquote hamster wheel, right? Because why do realtors fail? Well, they fail because they get really, really busy. Excuse me, and they're so busy that they're only working on that transaction and they're not prospecting and adding new people to the pipeline. So then when that transaction closes, they go, they go back to zero. So how do we prevent zero? We prevent zero with a long-term plan, a mid-term plan, and a short-term plan. All right, so I'm gonna just give you my sons. Not that it's the only one, because it certainly isn't, and, and you might have a different one. And if you do, I'd love to see it in the comments below. What do you do to get business now? What do you do to get business in six months to a year from now? And what are you doing for the long-term so that you can create some steady flow of business that comes in year after year after year. I'd be really interested to hear those comments down below. By the way, that's a great opportunity. I never, ever, ever remember to say like, subscribe, comment, please. Okay, um, so my son, the plan that we put together, short term, expired listings. Goes to expired listings, he does it at least three times a day, or excuse me, three times a week, pardon me. So uh, he'll go to multiple houses three times a week because those are opportunities that could present themselves and could get you a listing right now today. You could go knock on a door, talk to somebody and they could be ready to go. And that has not listing right then hasn't happened for him, but um, he's had some of them list within three days of knocking on the door. So it truly does present a now opportunity. You go, You'll, you'll, you'll succeed or you'll fail, you'll, uh, you'll win or you'll lose, but um, you, you'll pretty much have an idea of where you stand the minute you walk out of there. Midterm is his sphere of influence. Those are everyone he knows, likes, everyone that knows, likes, and trusts him. Um, so it is communicating with those folks so that they know he's in real estate, know he's available, and um, as Buffini would say, that he's never too busy for their referrals. So that is the uh, midterm plan, is working that sphere of influence, spending time nurturing those folks, bringing them along, and hopefully creating long-term uh, relationships and opportunities. And then long-term, we have a neighborhood. Now we picked a neighborhood with 500 homes, actually 642 homes is the exact count for my son's neighborhood. I had suggested around 500. We target a neighborhood with 500 homes that has as high a turnover as we can get. We'd like to get somewhere upwards of 20%. That's what it was like when I was out banging doors 
I understand that's a little harder today, inventory being as it is. But find the highest inventory you can. The next criteria is find a neighborhood. Can't be gated, can't be uh, locked off, has high turnover. And then the next criteria is that no single company does 10% uh, of the business or more. So if there's a brand, I don't care if it's independent, national, etc. you don't want a company that just dominates. They might be located just a block away or something like that, and they've just got a real stronghold on the neighborhood. And then the next thing is you don't want any individual agent to do 5% or more of the business. So 25 homes sell in that neighborhood, you don't want one agent to do more than five. You don't want more than one company, um, excuse me, you don't want more more than a couple, more than two. You don't want more than one company to do more than five. If, if you can avoid that, that makes a stronger neighborhood, makes a stronger opportunity. So he walks and delivers flyers to the neighborhood, walks around, simple, simple thing, put them in some bags, we bought them on Amazon, hang them on the mailbox or hang them on the door, depending on the neighborhood. And it's just real simple and easy. Everyone he meets, if, you're, if somebody's walking out to get their mail or he's, he's washing their car or gets in a conversation, everyone, he just jots down that address and sends them a, a note re recapping kind of what they talked about. Oh, it was nice to meet you. Uh, you're washing your car. I understand you've lived there for 25 years. If, if a, uh, one of your friends is interested in moving in the neighborhood because you're such an advocate for it, feel free to use my name. I'd be happy to help them type of thing. But those those uh, letters are going out, those notes are going out to the tune of about five plus a day. So short term, mid term, long term. You know what that's gonna do? That's gonna create what we call a business. And that business will take him off of the roller coaster. Because while he's working really diligently to get a deal closed, the mid term and the long term will still be fostering opportunities. And guess what? Just when he thought, oh gosh, I got nothing in the pipeline, something will magically appear. It's the way it works. Anyway, until next week, have a great week. Develop a plan. And if you need help with a plan, I'm, my doors are wide open. There's nothing I like more than to planning out a realtor's success. Uh, again, until next week, make it a great week. Make a plan. Like, subscribe, and comment below.